Hey everybody, I just wanted to give a quick lesson about, before you go into the book, um, a lesson on what D minor is. D minor shares the key signature of F major. So that means there is only one note that's flat. Do you know which one it is? That's right, B flat. So let's just draw out the notes. It's really important to know where the half steps are in every scale you play or every song you play and what key you're in, you know, because then you know what notes are close together and what notes are far apart. So let's build the scale. Of course, we start on the note D, E, F, G, A, B flat, and then C. Where are the half steps, you might wonder? Well, E and F, in their natural position, are always a half step. And since the B was lowered to a B flat, that's where the other half step is located. So make sure you know where to put your fingers. In the next video, I'll, I'll kind of help each of you out, each section of you out, to figure out where this, these notes are. All right, basses, you just saw the video about D minor and there being um, E to F as a half step and A to B flat. This is a fingerboard map of what notes you will be playing. So notice on the D string, whoa, sorry. We do not put our fourth finger down on the F sharp. We use second finger. And same goes for that G string. We go from A to B flat, usually second finger. Now, in most of the songs, you're gonna have to play the note D with one finger, extend your second finger to the note E, and then right next door. Darn it. <laughs> I, I can't do fours backward. I don't know what my issue is. So the E would be with the two, and the four would be with the F. And then you'll extend up to the harmonic with third finger. But sometimes you're going to start on the E with first finger and then use second finger on the F and again um, use a harmonic for that high G. So this happens in, I believe, mostly this is number 123, the spinning web where you have to watch out for the shift from this position, first finger, extended second finger and fourth finger, I'll do it this way, or first finger, second finger on the E, the first finger on the E, second finger on F, and then again, the try and use your ring finger for the extension. Um, hopefully this, this helps you out. Remember, these are played with two fingers. Careful. All right, see you later. Hello, eighth grade basis. We are in our book in number 121, page 34. Um, yeah, on number 121, we are playing, actually this whole page is in D minor, and D minor shares the key with F major, so there's one flat. In 121, we're going to be putting our first finger on the note D, then we're going to do a shift to an E, Feels more like an extension. And then because there's no F sharp, we're gonna play an F. All right, there's that note in between. Let's go ahead and play number, oh, also, before I forget, we also have to reach up for a harmonic, so don't forget that. One, two, ready, 121. <laughs> Number 122 is the theme from Symphony Number no. 1 by a man named Gustav Mahler. It's a very beautiful, kind of tragic, sad song. We're going to be playing in the same area that we did um, in the last song, 
but also shifting back to first position. And in the last two measures, we'll be crossing the string up here in fourth position. Here we go, let's play this song. One, two, ready, go. Maybe successful, maybe not. Bases on to 123, spinning a web. We're in the same key, um, but we're gonna be going all over our fingerboard. We're gonna be up here playing D, E, and F. In the second measure, we'll start on the E, first finger, F, G, and you can play that as a harmonic. So you could also play it regularly too, there it is. But while you're playing these, this area, you have to go over and reach for the note A on the D string. So be prepared to do that. Then we shift down and remember we're in the key of D minor, so there's a B flat. That's where my B flat is, here's B. So we're gonna go Open one, shift one, four, one, one in the third measure. Let's do that together. Third measure. Open one, one, four, one, one. Good. And then in the last measure, or first ending, we shift back up to our fourth finger position. Let's go nice and slow. One and a, uh, two and a. Uh. fingering system. Make sure you practice carefully. Number 124. All the other sections of the orchestra are still working in their position, new positioned area. But for you, basses, uh, they dropped it down to first position um, where it will be very comfortable for you to play. So let's go ahead and play number 124, part A. One, two, Ready and go. Pretty cool key. See ya.